The recent death of student Tim Piazza at a fraternity house put a new spotlight on alcohol and new party rules at Penn State. Now attention turns to this weekend and the student-created drinking bash known as State Patties Day. The spirit is still very alive. I think students are very passionate about State Patties because it's like a student-like kind of run thing. It, since I got here, everyone's been like asking me, I know, are you excited for State Parties? And I'm like, yeah, like it sounds like a pretty big deal. The event began in 2007 and increased in popularity and rowdiness until its peak in 2011. Aggressive crackdown efforts had some success including bars closing on that day. But last year, crimes and ordinance violations increased by roughly 46% from 2015 to 2016. The university, police, and the community are working together to get ready for this weekend. Residence halls have restricted out-of-town guests for the weekend, and the fraternity alcohol ban continues. Local bars say they're ready to. Uh, our objective is to be safe, have fun, let the kids have a good time. Despite the effort, some local businesses still promote State Patties Day. And a Facebook page listed almost 4,000 people as going to State Patties Day, and more than 2,000 people interested. In State College, I'm Amanda Schmidt for the Center County Report.